Does this Burr deal in Cleveland make sense for you? Thorsten, we're going to find out. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, real estate investors, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise, and today's show is from a man, Thorsten. Thorsten, now you had sent me uh, this duplex in Cleveland. Uh, It it could be a potential bird deal. You wanted me to look at it. And you and I, we are fresh off of another analysis that I just did for you. Uh, Property over on West 117th. Um, You got that video, you analyzed it, uh, you took what I said into play, and then you looked at the surrounding neighborhood, and you determined that that property probably not the best fit for you uh, due to the level of, uh, you know, quality and upkeep on the surrounding neighborhoods. It was a C-class neighborhood. Um, So we had talked, we were going to move forward, do a couple more videos on some B-class stuff, which we're still planning to do. But in the meantime, you sent me this and you wanted to get something out quick and you wanted my thoughts on this. So that's what you and I are doing, bro. And uh, I do have quite a bit of thoughts on that in comparison to the previous property you and I looked at, right? Uh, What this is, 3914 Brooklyn Ave, Cleveland, Ohio, 44109. Just listed two days ago for a very, very cheap price, $54,900. Now, this is just listed by uh, Russell Real Estate. This is one of those uh, like goofy bank-owned type deals where... You have to go in through another website, and uh, you got to register through their website, and you got to pay fees. So just so you know, there's going to be a cost of $150 to uh, do a bid for this particular property. And what do we have here? It's a true traditional duplex in Cleveland. Um, it's going to need a full cosmetic rehab, right? Walls, floors, the whole shebang. We're going to have to knock everything out right uh kitchens baths the whole deal uh it appears to have some decent bones though right just like a a ton of cosmetic stuff's gonna need to go down here uh both of these units need some love now one thing too just so you know you'll see the driveway it's not looking too too great this garage right here uh, you see, like, the door, it's all jacked up. What you can do in this particular neighborhood, you don't have to worry about the garage too much. You could go ahead and just tear these garages down. It doesn't really affect the uh, rental price that the tenants are going to pay. So what we could probably do is if that garage is too bad, it's too messed up, uh, if we have, like, structural issues, it's kind of hard to tell from this photo. Uh, I'm assuming... The reason that is kind of like that is probably because the driveway is sloped right here, which is probably in relation to this here tree, which is pulling up the the concrete blocks. But it could also be like, you know, foundation issues. So if it gets too costly, what we could do is just tear the sucker down. Now, after we did a big old rehab, what would we get? Well, we would get $750 per unit, right? So this thing has the potential to bring in $18,000 a year. Now, what would that look like? Well, if you're bringing in $1,500 a month, I anticipate eight twelve dollars going out. That's covering our fixed expenses, our variable expenses, insurance, the whole shebang. Now, this is an average cost, though, right? Average. This is not what you're going to see every single month. This is just, you know, a reasonable expectation that I would anticipate. That's going to leave you of that 18 G's that comes in, you know, 7,536 of that is going to be profit. Now, that would be if it was just a cash purchase, right? Uh, however, you want to know the numbers on your return if we were to do a bird deal. And that is where I think things get a little bit tricky uh, for you, right? Because here's the deal. The property is listed for $54,900, just listed. Like I mentioned, it's one of those bank-owned deals uh, where you got to go to a special website. So that's going to create a few issues for us. Issue number one is going to be the inspection, okay? 
Typically in these situations, all the utilities are off. You do not have the ability to get them turned on through uh, your inspections. So you're going to have to go into this with a ton of unknowns. Just looking at the photos, right? Just looking at the photos. We have a minimum of $30,000. I can clearly see a $30,000 rehab, which is going to be needed uh, on the inside of that property. There's probably going to be a lot of other stuff that pops up on the inspection as well. Like right here, you know, we got some definite issues right there. That would need to be addressed. That's probably a couple grand. Uh, the garage I spoke about, that could add a couple grand. But the big stuff, the big unknowns, right? is going to be the utilities, right? You got two furnaces. If you need to replace furnaces, the cost for that's going to be about $3,000 a furnace. Hot water tanks, about $1,000. We also have the roof they're going to have to look at as well. Uh, a roof on this particular house is going to be six to $7,000. So right now, just minimum, I'm, I'm giving you a... $30,000 rehab budget, but it, could, it definitely could get much higher, and you're not going to know until after you already own the property, till we can actually turn the utilities on and start working. So $54,900 plus $30,000 minimum, you're going to be into this at a minimum of $84,900. Now, if it just penciled out where that's all you had to spend was the $84,900, $84,900, you know, after you did your refinance, this property would probably appraise for about 100 k uh, So if you spent the 84.9, got it to appraise for 100 k the bank could give you back 75 Gs, and that would result in a 39% cash-on-cash return. But that's the thing. You know, is this like a horrible deal? Not necessarily, but I don't know if it works for you, right? Because... You know, you had just given me feedback during the last video that you were uncomfortable uh, with the neighborhood of that 117th property. This particular property is coming with a neighborhood that is identical, right? Like the quality of this neighborhood, the quality of the tenant base, what the housing stock, the condition of the housing stock, what it's all going to look like here is going to be just like that West 117th property. Now that West 117th property also came with a lot less unknowns, right? It had one tenant already paying. We had a private seller, so we had utilities on. You could do proper due diligence when you actually, you know, go under contract, get your inspection. With this particular property, you do not have that ability, right? You have to do it the way this website wants, and you don't get to know. So if you were not comfortable doing that deal, which is, in my opinion, far less risky than this deal, I do not think that this deal makes sense for you. Another thing, too is you might be thinking, okay, well, maybe we'll just lowball as, as far as the price goes, right? Maybe we'll account for all that stuff, right? We got 30000 minimum, but let's just assume there's another 15 Gs of unknowns. So maybe we'll make our offer at 40. Yeah, if you can take this thing down at 40, maybe that would alleviate uh, some of those risks for you. But the issue is with a website like this and a seller like this, you don't have the ability to just send in lowball offers and actually get them to be uh, taken seriously or worked with by the company. Typically how these types of transactions go, bro, it's uh, there's like an account manager, an asset manager, and they have to field offers based upon um, – how close they are in relation to the list price, and they have a predetermined schedule of price drops. There's really not a rhyme or reason. Even if your offer made sense, they you know they just won't accept it unless it's like 95% of list price, and then every two weeks they drop it down by 5K, something like that. I can't guarantee you that's how these people do it, but that's how stuff like this is commonly done. I've been through a lot of deals like this. So you know if you're considering maybe like a $40,000 offer, there's probably a low to no percent chance that that gets accepted. At least today, two days on the market. Now, maybe in 45 days, 60 days, 90 days, 120 days, if the property is somehow still on the market, maybe the price will have been dropped down by probably $5,000 increments a few times. Maybe we can consider a $40,000 offer. Uh, but today, right now, I don't see that happening, bro. Uh, and honestly, with the way the comps are in the neighborhood, I think there'll probably be some like DIY, do-it-yourself local folks that will probably pick it up and they'll be more comfortable paying a higher price than 40000 So I just really don't see a deal happening here, which is fine because I also don't think it fits you and what you wanted, right? I don't think you should get wowed by the numbers. You very clearly gave me feedback 
that the neighborhood quality in the last video made you uncomfortable. So I don't see why we should just throw that feeling out right within a couple days and try to target something very similar. Um, I think you know or you got at least a very good feeling of what makes you comfortable and what makes you uncomfortable. And there's a lot of real estate out there, bro. There's a lot of houses to try to buy. So why jump into something that's going to make you uncomfortable? What I think you and I should do, I think the best thing for us to do, uh, is have me look into some B-class assets for you, some stuff that's in some nicer neighborhoods that uh, you know is going to fit your, Rick, uh, your risk appetite a little bit better than something like this. Because I'd hate to see you, you know, just jump into a deal you're not going to be comfortable with. You're not going to, you know, just, you know, you're just going to be feeling uncomfortable dealing with stuff that's, you know, a higher level of risk than what you're trying to do, right? You work hard for your money. So let's put it to work in the best possible way, the most responsible way. So in my opinion, Thorson, I think we should pass on this deal. I don't think uh, this is really going to work for you. Now, Everyone else, if you are interested in working with my team in a similar fashion to how I'm working with Thorsten right now, you can do that. What you need to do, folks, is you need to go to HoltonWise.com, click the Property Search for Sale tab, and then you can buy from us in two different ways. The first way is the Investment Properties for Sale show. That's simple, that's streamlined, that's quick, that's easy. You have the ability to bid on our inventory of properties. We have video tours and analysis. All the information you guys need to make an investment decision is going to be right there on the show. You just bid right off the show. We also email that show to you every day at 1 o'clock, so subscribe to our mailing list. But if you are like Thorsten, you're just getting started in the game. As a matter of fact, like I know Thorsten, you came to me because you saw our coverage on the Clayton Morris scam documentary. Right. So that just something like that is just all the more reason I don't really want to see you jump into this deal. Right. A lot of those people, they lost a lot of money because they got, you know, kind of pressured into buying properties they weren't comfortable with, man, which we're all about transparency here. Not every property is going to work for every investor. And I just don't think this one works for you. So new investors out there, people just getting started, people learning a new market. If you're not ready to just make bids off of videos and just bid like that and, you know, compete with other investors who've probably gone through the education process and know exactly what they want. If you want this one on one, this back and forth, you want to be able to send me deals that look like they make sense to you and get my open and honest feedback. You know, and sometimes that feedback's going to say, don't pull the trigger, keep the money in your pocket. If you want to do that like Thorsten is, this is the show you want. The MLS search and analysis show, get a package. We got a bunch of packages on this screen. My favorites is 10 properties property package because it allows us to work together over the long haul. Like I said multiple times, me and Thorsten, we just got done doing a property on West 117th in a similar neighborhood to this. We got this property and we're going to be working together for at least eight more properties trying to find him the exact right deal. I work for him and him alone during this process. I don't pitch him properties that I've been paid to sell or anything of that nature. It is just purely trying to find you the property that's going to work for you. That is all I've got for today, folks. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys, put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Discount Property Warehouse, founded by real estate visionary Robert Thiel, author of The Short-Term Retirement Program, is a complete turnkey solution for acquiring cash-flowing investment properties in Memphis, Tennessee. Our turnkey properties include a third-party home inspection, new HVAC with 10-year warranties, new dimensional roofs, competitive price to rent ratios, discounted property insurance, in-house property management, private financing, and much more. At Discount Property Warehouse, we have a staff of licensed agents standing by, ready to assist you with every aspect of the process. Call us today or visit us online at discountpropertywarehouse.com. U.S. REIB is a full-service turnkey provider offering investors the opportunity to purchase single-family and multi-family investment properties in Cincinnati, Ohio, Dayton, Ohio, and Kansas City, Missouri. The purchase process is seamless. 
from reserving a property to obtaining financing, inspections, and insurance referrals, U.S. REAP has a dedicated team in place to manage the process from start to finish. In addition, U.S. REAP is also directly integrated with its own private placement fund for accredited investors. The fund seeks to raise $10 million to capitalize on the repositioning of distressed single-family and multifamily real estate. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.